You say, oh. Bringing you the finest entertainment on this side of the void. Game reviews, movie reviews, tales and myths from the supernatural unknown, unsavory food reviews, clown world news, and much more, all wrapped up in one extremely mediocre yet morbidly amusing online television channel, The Shady Gamer Channel. Entertainment, but not for everyone. What is roughly a meter tall, crawls under your bed, and might bite off your toes? This guy. This handsome devil is the Tokoloshe, a mythical demon from South African folklore. Looking like the result of a regretful drunk one-night stand between a gremlin and a garden gnome, this creepy imp likes to lurk in people's bedrooms and violate people when they're sleeping. What a jolly little fella. The Tokoloshe's bedside manners range from simply scaring kids to scratching people up and choking them with their long bony fingers. With its small, grey, hairy, stinky body and sporting a stylish hole in its skull, cause, you know, magic, the Tokoloshe is one handsome fella. According to some recollections, the Tokoloshe also has a wiener so long it has to sling it over its shoulder. Now that's a sight you don't want to see at midnight standing on your bed, or like, ever. Aside from being a creepy little fuck, the Tokoloshe also has some magical abilities because obviously the abusive demon midget with a snake dick is also a wizard. So what magic tricks did the Tokoloshe learn at Hell's version of Hogwarts? Its main power is its ability to turn invisible by drinking water or swallowing a stone. A very useful trick indeed for a little ghoul that spends most of its time sneaking into people's bedrooms. Another cool party trick it has up its sleeve is a limited shape-shifting ability, meaning it can disguise itself as a person or certain animals. It's also believed they can cause misfortune, nightmares and illness. They also hang out with witches. They're basically the witchy version of cats for the middle-aged boxed wine drinking cat lady. So how do you stop a magical demon midget from joining you in bed? You take advantage of its one crippling weakness, its Achilles heel, one could say, which would be hide. Locals would raise their beds by putting bricks under the bed legs so the vicious imp can't crawl on the bed. Simple, yet effective. But I assume stomping on its ugly face and tossing it into a microwave also works. If you don't want to get your hands dirty though, it's also an option to hire the local witch doctor to do the extermination. Ok, so we know the Tokoloshe is a hairy, nasty, short imp with extremely questionable bedside manners. Our next question is, where do these ugly fuckers come from? The Tokoloshe is said to be created from the remains of dead shamans, summoned forth by people with a rather immoral disposition. The folklore of the Tokoloshe is still widespread in southern African culture and disasters or crimes are sometimes pinned on the Tokoloshe. Many people in Africa are still, even now, reluctant to talk about this impish demon, since even mentioning its name might cause the hairy gremlin to visit you in bed that evening. Now, considering that I have been mentioning its name several times in these videos, uh, I guess I can expect an awkward visit tonight. But that's not the Tokoloshe. That's Bob. And we're going to get some beers tonight. <laughs>